having us. I'm super excited to be back. It's always such a pleasure um, coming here and meeting all of you guys and uh, doing some demonstrations of, on food and pastries. Today we are here to celebrate Myers and Chang at home. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to make Mama Chang's dumplings and then you'll have a little taste of the dumplings. We definitely want you guys to be able to make these at home. So I know it's a relatively large group, but we would love for you to ask questions. Um, I'll be, Chef will be doing the demo and I'll be helping her and keeping my eye out for anybody who has questions so that we can make sure that when you go home after this you can make these dumplings at home. I grew up in a very traditional Taiwanese uh, household where my mom cooked dinner every night and she cooked the things that her mom taught her and that her sister, her older sister, would have taught her. Everyone always says, how did you, how did you manage to, you know, go ahead and, and start cooking at Myers and Chang? And, that was a really big piece for me, taking that away and saying that it was something that I could do. I also, truth be told, I have been a really big fan of Myers and Chang. I've been eating there since the second week they were open. <laughs> and I had. So it was a place that I lived around the corner. I ate there all of the time. So I was really enamored with and also um, familiar um, with the foods that, that Joan was really making. Uh, when we're, we're teaching or demoing the dumplings, is that like anybody can do this. Right. Every single one of you is a dumpling ninja in your heart. You really are. You're, no, you are. You are. This is it's six, making the filling, it's six ingredients. Anybody can. As you notice, there's no breadcrumbs or egg or anything in it to bind the filling. The fat is your binder. The cabbage is your binder. The fat is your binder. So we want to get that all cut together. So you can see there's the two pleats, and then it's very smooth. Then I go the other way. Uh, my mom would make like hundreds of them, and I would make probably about five. And <laughs> little couches, and I had little Lego people, and I would, say, <laughs> I would play house and distract her. Does the number of pleats change? Yeah, it, doesn't change it doesn't really change anything. It's more just for looks. You've got a perfect little handle to kind of pick them up. Very beautiful. Um, to pick them up and put them in your pan. You don't want to crowd them in the pan. You want to make sure, like I could definitely fit more than this, but you want to make sure that um, you're giving them all a little space so you can pull them out nicely and so they don't stick together. One of the things that I think is counterintuitive or that people get a little a little bit scared of is, um, but I've done all this work to get them really crispy on the bottom, then I'm going to add a bunch of water to it. What happens is all of the water evaporates. And then what you're left, you still have some of the oil in the pan, and you've got, um, it's going to recrisp itself. It's challenging because you can't just divide it. You can't just divide it by 25 or, or, or whatever it is to make it work. So we've worked really, really hard to make sure that um, that these recipes really work at home. And that's, that's sort of the, the challenges that come along with it. 